It shouldn't surprise anyone to learn that Pittsburgh had a hand in the development of atomic and later nuclear energy. Enter the Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Company that in the mid-1930s built a pioneering atomic research laboratory in Forest Hills with a water tower-like structure known as the Atom Smasher. Marnie Blake Walter is a writer and a scholar who has done extensive research on Westinghouse and their labs. She says that all the research that was done both in the labs and with the Atom Smasher laid the foundation for what would come during the Manhattan Project and the nuclear age beyond. The history of the Westinghouse Atom Smasher really goes back to that sort of earliest period before the Manhattan Project where scientists had kind of just discovered parts of the atom and, and sort of what was going on with that. And that kind of set off this wave of atom smashing. And what exactly did the atom smasher do? It's a bit complicated, but a lot is in the name. The atom smasher would accelerate particles at high speeds and then smash them with targeted atoms. And then scientists would analyze the results of everything from the collision to the radiation. And while the atomic research that was being done here in Forest Hills did go on to help Oppenheimer and his team eventually create the atomic bomb, the connection the Westinghouse facility had with the Manhattan Project was less about the science and more about the scientists, people like Dr. Edward Condon. He was one of the leaders of the research program based at the Atom Smasher. And he was actually chosen as Oppenheimer's associate director, and he went out to work at Los Alamos. Condon left the Manhattan Project before its completion, but one of his big legacies was putting together the Los Alamos Primer, a booklet for all scientists coming on to the Manhattan Project that talked about the principles of nuclear weapons. And both Condon and his old Westinghouse lab saw a big career after the war. Sadly, though, not much remains in Forest Hills of the old facility. The labs grew larger and moved, and the building began to sit vacant by the mid-1980s. All but the smasher itself was demolished and removed in January of 2015. Still, the legacy of this place and Pittsburgh's role in atomic history can't be denied. Pittsburgh has a really great uh, legacy um, in being uh, really one of the innovators of nuclear power in, you know, in those early days. And really, the Atom Smasher is the point where all of that started. Reporting in Forest Hills, Krista Rose, KDKA-TV News.